Good morning, guys. How are ya? Happy Monday. Happy Monday. We made it to another Monday. I'm taking Faith and Jerome to school. They're somewhere. One's here. <laughs> One's back there. You can't see Jerome. Uh, the yeah. twins are, are got up all ready to take them to school. And then the school sent a message saying, um, due to high COVID cases in the thingy, in the nursery, two of the rooms are closed, so they only have the um, zero to two room open. The toddler room and the preschool is closed, so they won't be going to school today, which they don't mind. <laughs> the, the thing is, they haven't even had a full time school and they're already like <laughs> over it. <laughs> they're so over it. So when I told them you don't have school, they said, okay. <laughs> you think they're like, oh, why? Nah, they said, okay. I was like, all right. <laughs> <laughs> Just this week, but yeah. So um, today I need to go buy the, some of their presents because their birthday is on Wednesday. This one, turn, yeah. <laughs> what? They're turning their big fall, the big fall, zero fall on Wednesday. Thank you. So I'm gonna go get some of their presents from. Uh, some shop. I think I might be. Go I might go B and M or home bargain. So I'll see what they have and see if they have good ones. I buy it from there. If not, I'll just um. Yeah. If not, I'll just get it from. Um. I might do some. I've got a few on um Amazon that I found. So yeah. I can't believe they're turning for. They'll be starting full time school in September. Like, how? How are they full time school in September? I don't need, but the thing is, I'm happy that they're going to be four because Faith and Jerome started when they were three. And I was like, oh my God, you're so small. <laughs> you as well. Bro, you're the youngest in the class too. Yeah, well, I'm talking about Faith. Stop. You're, <laughs> this boy. Yeah, you're the youngest in the class. This boy. So yeah, so with, even with Faith and Jerome, I was like, literally, I was like holding the tears back. I'm like, they're so small. And you see them sometimes when they get, they have these massive bags on their backs, and they just, you know, toddling along, and you're like, and you're like, you're too small to be going, you know, full time Monday to Friday, nine to three school, you know, because at the moment the twins go three times a week, nine, nine to, one, to is it? no nine to two. Oh. So oh, yeah. um yeah so. September they'll be going yeah, I mean, nine I mean, to three, like Monday to Monday to Friday. So <sighs> let's see how that. <laughs> oh my God! But I'm glad at least you know in preschool they're going nine to two. Where before I think when Faith and Jerome side they went from nine to twelve, Wait, but what? with the yeah, mm -hmm. and then after. Uh, then they increased it to you know for two more hours till you know before they started preschool. But the twins just went in from nine to two. The only time they went nine to twelve is the I think the first day. So the first day from was nine to one to nine to two. I don't know if it's different nurseries. They work different. I don't know, but I was surprised. But I thought, okay, all right. It's only at least if, you know they get three two days Monday Tuesday, then they have a break, which is Wednesday then Thursday. So. It's okay. They used to. They're, they're okay. Like they're a lot better now. Before they used to drag when we come out of the car. They would want to cry. Bella would be like, my belly hurts. Uriah would be like, I don't want to. Yeah. <laughs> but now they just go in and they're fine. So it is good. So I'm contemplating if I need to buy one cake or two cakes for the twins' birthday. One. Cause, cause, actually, no, two. Because huh? we have more What did you say? I thought you were talking to us. I was supposed to say something. Jojo, what did you say? I said two because me and Faith are still here. And what? Here. What does that have to do with you? <laughs> but me and Faith are still here. Nobody. <laughs> but I'm still the brother. I still, I like, I help them loads. What is that? So wait. Oh, so you're saying to give you one cake? What? And that you and Faith need one that. cake? No, well, I don't know about Faith, but anyways, um, I think. Because I've done a lot for them, right? Class yeah. that, that means that, um. <laughs> I should, uh, we should think that I should. Boy, it's funny. 
Yeah, so I don't know if I should get I should one get cake or two. Piece. Guys, let me know what do you think. I should get third Because that, that's going to be a whole lot of cake in the house. <laughs> For a couple of days. It's just gonna have Maybe a lot of leftover. Yeah. No, I'll eat it. I of course you will, Of course you will. You're, You're like a human being. Everything goes in. <laughs> you you never see it again. Not avocado, you know. Mm, yeah, you never like the healthy stuff. You only do, want the junk. I like junk. lettuce. I like grapes. I like oranges. I this like boy apples. does not like eat lettuce. He does not eat lettuce. He's trying it. I, he eat, late. I eat lettuce and burgers, and I can eat them on their own. I've ate it before. Mm. <laughs> Seriously. I ate. Yes. Seriously. Seriously. Yes. This boy refused to even eat a burger with lettuce. He would open no, it and start picking it out. I, I eat them now. Every little, every little piece of lettuce, he will pick it out. Mom, I've been so. eating them for like ages now. No, you haven't. Yes, I have. Why do you think Okay, I show us. I'll buy you a whole bag of lettuce. Yeah. Yeah? Yeah. Yeah. And we'll I see if you eat it, yeah? Leave the yeah. 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 I'm okay. going to eat it. All right. All right. Yeah. Mackies tonight. Okay, guys. Mark my words. Nobody buying you Mackies. I'm buying you a bag of lettuce. A bag of lettuce? She just yes. said that. Did you not hear what she said? You said a bag of lettuce? Yes. You now said you, you like lettuce. lettuce. So I'm going to buy you a bag of lettuce and you'll show us how you eat lettuce, okay? I like McDonald's lettuce. Ha! Ha! I'm done. I'm done with this boy. It is well. It is well. With my soul. With my soul. It is well. Um, guys, uh, I was talking to one of my friends yesterday. And she was telling me um, about twins starting school. And she was saying that they, they separate, they will separate. They were like, where? Where? Who? Who told you to separate my kids? <laughs> they came in this world together. They will stay together. You know? And she was like, yeah, they will separate them. They do. I'm like, no, they don't. And she was like, yes, they do. I'm like, I've known uh, the, the, um, the primary school that Faith and Jerome went to. There was um, a twin mom I used to know. A couple actually, two. Yeah, two, I think, if I'm not mistaken, two. And um, one of them, she told them she wanted to separate them. You know, she she asked, uh, she, I think they asked her, you know, what she wanted to do. And she said that she wants to, to separate them. And I was like, I don't think they can, it's not right for them to just yank them apart. You know, I mean, they've just started this small, you know, big, you know, school, not, you know, nine to nine to three, you know, Monday to Friday. And they've been together, even in nursery, they're in the same room. And then, you know, obviously they're always together, you know, at home together, playing together, everything. And then all of a sudden you just want a young came apart? Like, how does that make any sense? How is that good for them? Like, honestly, if they did that, that would give me anxiety because I'm thinking, okay, are they okay? Are they, you know, are they missing each other? Like, I'll be thinking all kind of things. Like, I don't want that. I literally would. I, I, it, it, mm. I do not I do not want them to do that. That would not make me happy whatsoever, okay? It's not, I don't see what's the point. It's only reception. And then the reception to me is like nursery because all they're doing is playing and painting and you know, all that. So they're not really doing work, work. In year one, yes, we can separate them, you know, if we have to. But if we don't have to, don't separate them. But year one is okay, but reception, no. I am not happy with them doing that whole separation and reception. The babies, okay, let them be, you know. And that's what I was gonna. I need to call some of the schools that I put down and be like, uh, "What's your policy on um, twins being separated?" Because I is not happy. I mean, that kind of decision they should ask parents, not just, you know, our policy is that twins should not be together. Excuse you. Who what, what, who gave you that right to be telling people? You know, telling parents that all oh, your kids can be in the same class. Who are twins? Why would you do that? Like, why would you think that's a good, you know, a good decision to do? Because this, I'm sure, saying, oh, it's, um, they do it because they think it's good for their, um, their, you know, to develop their personalities, which is fine, but not in reception. They're still babies. Let them be. Let them enjoy each, each other. Let them. Oh, I'm trying to pack. Let the low kids be. Let them have their fun. And then we can sort that in your own. Anyway. I'm a girl. Home bargain. Home the bargain. Home bargain.
on the bag. Do you know that I <laughs> uploaded the wrong vlog? The vlog that says come shopping with me a new year's resolution. That's an old vlog. I don't know how I done it, how I uploaded the wrong vlog, but I uploaded the wrong vlog. That vlog was from Harlow before we moved and I was um I was in Asda. I could I realized it was because I think in the morning I was on there, I don't even know what I was looking at. And I was on um but, you know, I was trying to find a certain top and I was like, did I wear that or whatever? So I was trying to find it in the vlog. And then when I was watching, I'm this thinking, I'm thinking, that's not the vlog I recorded. I'm this like, when, where's that vlog from, you know? And then I saw, I was scanning um the shopping and I was like, that's Asda. I've not shopped in Asda for like full, like weekly groceries in a while. So I'm thinking, I didn't go Asda last week, the last couple, yeah, last week. I'm thinking I went to Audi. So... Even the clothes I was wearing, that green jacket I've not worn in a while. So I'm thinking, how did I upload the wrong vlog? So <laughs> I uploaded the wrong vlog. So this week you're going to get two vlogs tomorrow, which I'm going to upload tomorrow. Upload today? No, I'm going to edit today's one today and then I'll upload two vlogs tomorrow because I, I really don't understand how I done it. I think it's because both of them, that one was called, um, uh, what's it called? Come shopping with me as well. So I, I can't, uh, I thought I'd put 2022 on this last week's one, but I guess I didn't. So I'll mix them up. You too. Hello. Hello. Share and eat your apple pies or else I'm going to put them in the bin. 
Okay? Yeah, but you need to eat your papaya first. Put the tablet down and eat your papaya first, okay? Bella, Bella. No, eat your papaya. Honestly, these kids love to argue about everything. But yeah, so yeah, you get two vlogs tomorrow. Lucky you. Hopefully, guys, you're watching, okay? Because I'm back to family vlogs as they were requested. I, I, I did a poll on Instagram and I was like, family vlogs, family vlogs family vlogs or advice series or advice vlogs and everyone most of the people said family vlogs so i am back to family vlogs make sure you guys watch okay make sure you watch because the more you watch the more i know what you want to watch the more it motivates me to do more but if no one's watching it's kind of demotivating and i'm sure everyone understands that because it's like you're doing something because someone people say they they love it and they want to watch it. obviously i enjoy doing them but at the same time it would be nice if people are watching it and i know people are watching it so obviously if people are not watching it, it's kind of demotivating and you're like what's the point kind of thing so i hope you guys are watching make sure you share so we grow the family you know let's grow the platform my little corner on the earth my little yeah. tiny corner of the earth let's grow it let's make it bloom <laughs> And again, don't forget to hit the notification bell. Because if you don't, you're not going to get notification. I hear a lot of people say, Insta, uh, what is it? YouTube doesn't show people that... Was it YouTube? If you don't hit that... that <coughs> if you don't hit the notification bell, you will not get notifications. So you got to do that. So you can get notifications or else you will not see them. And don't forget to subscribe. You know? Subscribe. So, you know, we can grow again. <laughs> Anyway, yeah, so guys, make sure you support. Support, support the little YouTubers. Support us, okay? Don't just watch the big ones. Remember us, the small ones too. We're here. We're trying to grow, just like those big ones. They were small ones, you know, and you help them grow. So help us grow too, okay? Everyone. Guys, I was able to get the twins' birthdays. Birthdays? They be the presents. I've got, um, I think I've got two from b and m and then i ordered another some other some other ones from amazon they're coming tomorrow thank god and then i need to cancel my prime i was supposed to cancel it before christmas but i forgot so they charged me another month so i need to cancel it now because i'm like i do not shop that much on amazon and they're taking my eight pounds every month so i need to, I, I literally put a reminder to remind me to cancel it so once they arrive tomorrow, I'm going to cancel it, okay? But, um, I'm actually here. I got my water bottle. Hello, water bottle. I'm cold. Okay, I'm one of those people who are just... Sometimes, there's times when you're just cold. And I don't understand why you see... Like, kids? I don't understand kids. I've literally, I always put them there and I say... And I cover them and everything. And they don't care. They just run off. And me, I'm here cold. My feet are cold. My hands have warmed up now, but my feet were cold. And I've actually got a duvet on. <laughs> I've got a duvet that I'm covering myself with to keep me warm. And, uh, and um, water ball. But, yeah, but, guys, I think my name is not that bad anymore. My husband's still on. The kids always still say my hands are still white. But the amount of meat I eat nowadays, well, it's not overly much. But I do eat more meat than I used to, which should make my anemic levels better but i don't know um but i'm hoping it makes it better they still they still look quite that white they're still white but i don't think it's that bad it's not, it's not that bad bella i mean you're right come back guys in my new house i need to have underfloor heating and i've not got it yet i'm speaking it with faith because god said anything on this planet is ours so in my new house i need to have underfloor heating because i've been here i've been in england for many many years and i'm still not used to the winters whether it was it's up north or down east it to me winter is winter okay people say oh up north the winters are really it's really cold they say the winter is really cold and it's all cold i'm like no everywhere's cold in england it's the same cold Okay, it's the same cold. I do not see any difference. Honestly, I don't see any difference between the cold up here in north and the cold in east. 
to make all this gold unless i go to iceland then i will probably tell the difference but as far as north and east it's the same thing so in my new house i'm having underflow heating because this business is forever wearing socks every time you go socks on every time you go socks on like no and then you have to wear how many layers just to be warm you know ah bruh no that's long underflow heating gonna be my house okay it's gonna be my house so when you come in my house you're gonna be feeling very tossy you won't want to leave it in winter okay the people the, the non-existent husband that hasn't been seen in a year two years Five <laughs> What are you doing? You got... <laughs> <laughs> He's having his lunch break. Um, so guess what guys, the school, the twins nursery just called me and they said four staff members are off with COVID. Yeah. And yeah, yeah, careful. Do it over there, you don't knock my miss tea. Over there. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that's my niece. And um, there's some other kids who are in close contact with Uriah and Bella who've tested um, positive as well so they're not going in for the next for the next week she said she will see she there's any staff members staff members will be back next week or whatever so she was asking me if i wanted to still take them in or keep them because and i was like i think i'll keep them because with uriah's breathing issue i don't take chances with this disease or whatever virus so they're gonna stay home for this week and then see if they'll go back next week we'll see how they're getting on I think, um you know there was a one time when i had to take uriah because of the cold that he kept, kept having he had he had had a cold before christmas for months i think i, I told you guys before he had one for months so i tried to get a, an, an appointment with the doctor and this lady told me that we had to test them before they went into the GP surgery because if they had COVID, they can't see you or whatever. There are no rules. But then the nursery lady just said, you don't have to test under five. They don't need to be tested. And I'm like, but the GP told me to test them before I took them. So, like, which is which? I don't understand. Because this was my problem. I'm like, how do you run that thing down three hours? Even adults. Find it uncomfortable so how are you gonna ram that thing up their nose and in their throat without them screaming bloody murder you know but apparently you don't have to do it and you don't you don't have to do it so i'm like that gp was talking nonsense all right she was talking nonsense she didn't want to see my kids hmm? Hmm? Mm. Dirty, so I have to wash it. Look how dirty it is. Come on, touch it. Dirty. What's that? Yeah. Oh, that's You want sweet? I got asked Fifi to give you one. Teachers got COVID. They got COVID. COVID. How did she get COVID? Was she coughing? No. Put it back. Hey, you can. Hey, you. Ready? Yeah. Uh -huh. I went. I went. I picked it up and I was like, "Can you guys?" What did you do? I just 